Hey guys, Pablo with BND, and today we're going to be taking a look on a new issue involving Brie Larson and Tom Holland. So, as you guys may have or may not have heard, so Tom Holland came up and to speak about having a gay Spider-Man, or at least, you know, having a representation at Marvel about the, on the LGBTQ uh, community. What is all fine. Now, first of all, I want to state that I have no issues with the community. I have gay friends. I, you know, I, I do think Marvel should have more of a representation on that side, but I just have some issues about how everything was put in and uh, the issues that are actually being brought on that conversation. So, uh, I was looking at the Mary Sue and it says, Brie Larson can't ask for LGBTQ representation at Marvel, but Tom Holland can. And it's by Rachel Laceman. Do you know how much it hurts me to have to be snarky regarding Tom Holland? That's my son. I don't like this, but the internets make me do it. Brie Larson asked that Marvel move a little faster with their LGBTQIA plus representation. She was mocked and dragged for doing so. When Tom Holland says that Spider-Man should be gay, he sprays continually. Okay, so let me cover this part really quick. There's a major issue. When you talk about Brie Larson, people usually avert their eyes and pretty much whatever she says is bad. And when Tom Holland says the same thing, it's okay. Um, so let me cover what is happening right now that people don't acknowledge is the problem with Brie Larson is how she actually puts her points. And it's something I used to tell my soldiers when I was still in the army. And it had to do with, I'm going to have to blip a little bit this, but it was... There's 10 ways you can tell someone to go f*** yourself. But in one of those ways, that person going to come and thank you. What it pretty much tells you that sometimes it's not what you're saying, but it's how you're saying. So when you look at Brie Larson, what she's doing, she, she talks a lot and she attacks people pretty much directly. Now, when you look at Tom Holland, you see him doing work on kids' hospitals, uh, saving a girl from being tramped in New York City. So people will probably listen to him more. It's the same thing as, you know, when you're in school or in the office. When you're in the office, you always have that one guy. He always has the worst freaking ideas. And everybody on the pain for, for those bad ideas. So guess what happened? When he speaks, nobody pays attention. Now, when you have some guy that every single time he has great ideas, even if he gives the same idea the other guy did, people listen to him because she's not reliable as that guy in the office or that guy in your school. And that's why people don't listen to her. It has nothing to do with her being a woman. I mean, some people will listen to a guy more than a woman, sure, but that's 5%. And I think that's what people don't seem to realize is times changed. A lot of people change this type of mentality, but some people are having problems to get away from the days, you know what I mean? The difference? Nothing, to be honest. It's just that the internet hates Brie Larson, her willingness to speak up for change for some reason. Like I said, she doesn't know how to pass her point. She just literally takes a freaking shovel and hit people across the face with it. We have a guess. As much as I love Tom Holland, and that's a hell of a lot. Saying Spider-Man should be gay is wonderful and fine, but praising him for it? It's easy to say something. It's another thing to actually take action for that change. Now, maybe both Brie Larson and Tom Holland will help in making Marvel more inclusive in their LGBTQIA plus representation. But that doesn't mean fandom's okay with Larson speaking up about it. Again, yes, 
You see, Brie Larson had been bashing the Marvel fans. And I'm not talking about Marvel fans that start being fans because of the movies. I'm talking about 40-year-old white man that used to read the comics since a very, very long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And that's the point. So she will have a backlash from those people. She will have a backlash from guys on the internet that grew up with comics. When I was growing up reading comics, that pretty much meant I was going to get beat up in school if the other kids saw me reading comics because they're stupid. Oh, you think you're Superman? And bam, give you a punch because ha, you can take a Superman, huh? So yeah, those guys are going to be pissed at Brie Larson. Now, let me be honest about this, okay? So, like that person, that lady, uh, Rachel Lisman, the way she talks, like, Brie Larson is doing a lot for the community. No, she's not. You actually don't see her doing anything besides going on camera, bashing people that disagree with her, and just trying to put her pro point across, pretty much like aiming nuclear missiles at people. So, no, people will not accept that. Nobody in any situation will accept to be forced to like something. You have to put your point, you have to prove why, and you have to show the example. I mean, I don't see anybody cover Brie Larson going to a free clinic or connecting with her fans. No, I see her talking about how we should take care of those people, but nobody see her doing anything. And, you know, in a sense, when I say those people, I'm kind of included because I am an immigrant, so I am a minority. But, yeah, I don't see any of that. So, would I want, actually, Brie Larson to fail as Captain Marvel? No. For one reason. I love Marvel. I love what they've done with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I really hope that keeps going. But if someone that is supposed to lead the Avengers to be the new face of Marvel is doing something like that, Marvel movies will fail eventually. And, you know, Marvel movies are like a drug. I don't want to be without it. So I don't want to hurt fail. What I would like her to do is, you know, when she get a praise, like show that she's actually doing something. And when she receives a praise, instead of turn to people and say, oh, you see, I have been doing that. You're the only ones that didn't notice because you're because of your toxic masculinity. Just take the compliment and accept that. Thank the person and move on and keep doing what you're doing. I guarantee everybody on YouTube and on the Internet that have been having issues with her, They'll just start speaking really good about her. It, it may have a little bit of a phase where people are like, well, she did something good, but let's see what she's going to do tomorrow. But it will change. So as one of Twitter user points out, the difference lies how people react to a woman ask for more representation and how people react to a man doing it. In defense of the Tom Holland responses, they're not the same people who are complaining about Brie Larson, but they still demonstrate the contrast in the types of response listed by each person. All right. No. I mean, I grew up in the 80s, and I'll say yes, back in the day, that would be just like that. And if you guys watch the Strange, Stranger Things 3, third season, yeah, a lot of people are like that. A lot of people are really toxic. I do believe the world changed a lot. I'm not going to say it's everybody, but a high percentage of people are not that way. And that's usually the problem I have with feminism and SJWs. They just talk about everybody, every single man as having toxic masculinity, even if it's because they open a door to a woman or they're offered to carry something for someone. Listen, our bodies are different. And that's why a lot of sports are having issues with taking people that identify as females 
in their sports and having their heads cracked open and going to a coma because guess what? Our bodies are not the same. Okay? And it's not saying that women are not as strong in many ways as men. It may not be the part of uh, your body strength, but women have a lot of strength too. Okay? But we're not the same. So I think we need to walk out of that mentality and start seeing what we're stronger with on each person. All right? So again, I really wish Brie Larson, um, someone told her stuff like that, you know, it's not what you say, it's how you say. And the most important thing is show, not tell. So if she's showing that she's actually doing something for all the causes she is championing, I think a lot of a lot more people would get behind. I think she should stop bashing the fans and the most, the really old fans of Marvel, people that were fans way before the movies came out. I mean, because honestly, those are the people bringing their kids and grandkids to watch the movies. Uh, those are the people that actually believe in a lot of the things Stanley is showing their, in his comics. Again, show not tell. And we grew up with that. We grew up believing that people should be equal. Um, look at the mutants. The mutants, uh, a lot of the issues they had were issues people are having at on the times where, you know, you're, you're not okay because you're a mutant is the same. That was a translation of how some people look at African-Americans, immigrants and all. And that's people that champion for the mutants. That's the people that understood the concept of what the mutants actually represented. So you're going against those people that probably would be in your side. Now, about Tom Holland, I disagree that Spider-Man should become gay and only because, again, old fan, as many people with me, and Spider-Man has never been gay. They do have a good amount of uh, LGBTQ uh, characters on Marvel. I do feel they should be better developed. Um, if Young Avengers movie comes out, you guys gonna see they have actually a few characters. There are. I just think they need to develop those characters more and actually put them in their place. Uh, and the same thing gonna goes when people whitewash or blackwash characters. You know what? Both have their own characters. If they feel well, but that character is not as famous, I'll tell you something. Iron Man wasn't as famous as you guys think. Okay, in the comics, uh, Iron Man had been kind of like, really, he used to be here, he was like down here when the movie came out, and they made Iron Man the greatest hero ever. So, they can do that with anybody, okay? Just get the right person to write the story, uh, do a good development, a good character arc, don't do like they've been doing with like females on movies lately that they cannot fail because that doesn't give the character an arc. It's just, well, they're just strong and whatever they do is great and it just becomes boring. Okay. So I hope you guys now, if you didn't know what was going on, know what's going on. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any comments, please leave in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and I'll hopefully be seeing you guys tomorrow or after. I'm sorry I've been away for about a week, but I'll try to fix my life so I can fix my schedule. I hope you guys have a good night, and I see you then.